This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Project Design a Game, Part 10. Okay, so we already have a bunch of code here. Here's what my game's looking like thus far. My alien will flip upside down. Oh, <laughs> um, the controls aren't perfect yet. Let's see what we're doing this round. Next, you want to make sure user control... Oh, there we go. Create a function that makes your sprite respond to user controls as defined in your project guide. So I already have some user controls, but this is a perfect opportunity for me to, well, make them better because they're, they're not good. All right. So when we press right, the obstacles speed up. I'm not sure if my jump is large enough. When I hit up, I kind of want to go up more. Hmm, let's do plus four. I'm just not sure. Ooh, I bet too. Instead of having it switch when I hit up, I want it. Um, I'm going to have it switch when we get a hamburger. So let's reset. Okay. So I think that jumps a bit better. I would like the objects to make it difficult. I'm going to have the objects move at a random velocity. So let's do math velocity random negative one to negative three, maybe. I don't need a space here. Let's try that. And if I hit over, I speed them up. Well, it seems slow still. Let's try negative five. Obstacle two is the cactus. Oh, now it's cruising. What if we do negative two to negative seven? Ooh, I have an idea. We're going to do, okay. Bah, that's perfect, actually. Okay, so, and then the fence will be, which is obstacle one. I'm going to make it negative two to, I don't know, negative five. Uh, so sometimes they're going to pass. <laughs> no, they should be the same. All right, all right. So we need a variable. And then I'm going to say... I'm going to call it speed. And set it equal to this random number. And then use it here. And here. They'll still actually be passing each other because it's going to randomize each time. Oh, well, I kind of like it. All right. So, and then control-wise, so I need to increase gravity. Let's see. Where's my fall? Collide ground if player is less than... I'm going to have this, I want an else, if. So that's fine at first, but if the player is over, like, if Y is less than 140, I want gravity to be even stronger. So I'm going to go to show text so I can copy and paste. And then I want it to be, if it's less than 140, I want it to be plus 0.5. And I don't think I need an else right now.
Okay, let's see. Reset, run. Oh, wait a minute. Velocity plus, you need it to be negative. Got it. Show text. I want to decrease the y velocity. No, I do not. Oh, that's better. There we go. The velocity really hits there. Okay. So let's do 0 0.75 maybe. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave it like that. Our controls are working a bit better. So, let's just double check. Yep, awesome, let's keep going. 